Hi, hello and welcome back to another video of Circuit Digest. In this video, we'll show you how to build an ESP32 based surveillance car. If you have already noticed, the project looks very simple to build thanks to the PCBs that we have designed. We will also be giving away two of these PCBs to two lucky winners. So watch the full video to know how to participate. That being said, let's get started. The main brain behind our project is this ESP32 CAM module. The whole robot is powered using an 18650 lithium cell and for the motors we have used the N20 DC motors. All four of the motors are connected to a 55 mm tire and all four motors are driven by this MX1508 motor driver module. All the components are connected together using a single PCB. Speaking about PCBs, it's time to introduce the sponsors for this video, Next PCB. Next PCB is one of the most experienced PCB manufacturer in China with over 15 years of experience in industry. They meet high quality industry standards with fast delivery and turnaround time as less as 24 hours. Apart from PCB manufacturing, they can also help in component sourcing, PCB assembly and even with quality testing. What I personally like about their brand is that they provide free Gerber and DFM analysis. I'll tell you more about that later in this video. Now coming back to the project, let's start by looking at the circuit diagram. So this is the complete circuit diagram for our project and as you can see it's very simple. The most important component here is the ESP32 CAM and you can see that we are getting inputs from the mobile which is a web server and based on this inputs we'll be controlling the motor through the pins IN1, IN2, IN3 and IN4 which are given to our MX1508 motor driver module. Apart from that, we have the TP4056 charger IC to charge the lithium battery on board and also a USB Type-C connector and the CH340K programming chip to program our ESP32 on board. Like I told, the circuit diagram is very easy. Now that the circuit is ready, we started by designing the PCB and also made a 3D model to make sure everything fits the right way. Once the PCB was ready, we went over to next PCB. You can see the complete website here and then clicked on PCB code. Here you would have to upload the Gerber file for our project. Mine is over here. You can also find it in our website. So just click on the Gerber file and then scroll down and you can see that it automatically takes the length and width of your PCB. I'll be needing five pieces for this project and over here on the right side you can see the total cost that you would have to pay to get this PCB fabricated. Once you are okay with the total cost you can click on add to cart and make your purchase. What I am specifically interested for this video is this free Gerber viewer and DFM tool. So if you click on it you can again upload your Gerber file over here. And over here you can see that the software has already detected errors in my Gerber file. And if I click on download report, it generates a report and I'm fairly impressed with this report because as you can see here, it not only tells what the problem is, but it also shows where exactly the problem is and the severity of it. For example, if there is a small warning, obviously we can ignore it, but if there is a severe problem, it highlights it as risk and it categorizes all the problems as risk, warning and even how to correct it, which is pretty impressive if you ask me. So we placed our order on next PCB and within few days, We got the PCB directly delivered to our home and as you can see, the quality of the PCBs are really really good. Next, we removed this breakout board from the PCB. And added our ESP32 CAM module to this. Then we soldered all the remaining components to our PCB. Once that is done, we proceeded with adding the motors on the back side of our PCB 
using double sided tapes and also zip tags can be added using the slots provided over here. Then proceed with adding your wheels. Finally, also connect our ESP32 CAM module to our SPY robotic car. Now that our hardware is ready, connect our robot to the computer and head over to our website and if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you will find the complete code. Just copy the code, paste it in your Arduino IDE and click on upload. Let me tell you how to participate in the giveaway. All you have to do is share this video in any of these social media platforms, tag Circuit Digest and we will find you and send these PCBs right to you. Then open your phone and connect to the robot using Wi-Fi. So the SSID is Circuit Digest and the password is also Circuit Digest. I have already connected. So let me open Chrome and get into the URL 192 dot 168.4.1 once you open you should be able to see the frame with the live feed and also all the buttons to control the robot with that we have come to a conclusion for this video hope you enjoyed watching it and learned something useful you can also check out our other videos that being said this is ashwin signing off have a good day tata bye bye